welcome back to my channel and as always I'm so excited to show you this tutorial. I know right now what is in is the unicorns and the metallics and all of those things so I was like you know what I'm gonna take that idea and I'm gonna spin it a little bit. So I wanted to do a fairy pixie kind of look. I know Halloween's not coming up and it's June, July now but I just think it it was so pretty when I kind of got the inspiration, so I wanted to do this look anyway. I will also be using the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette for this. I was so excited when she announced that it was finally coming out and went over everything, and I'm sure a lot of you were as well. I did want to do a sort of review look with this, but there's been so many people, beauty gurus everywhere that have been reviewing this already. I wanted to do something a little bit different and play with the colors and give you guys a look out of it. And I know that um, a lot of Morphe palettes are kind of more muted tones, they're very neutral tones, so I wanted to really play up the colors because they are just stunning and beautiful and different. Um, especially from what Morphe has done in the past. So while this isn't really a review video, I will let you guys know that I do absolutely love it. And I love Jaclyn Hill already, but I think she just did a stunning job with this. And so that's the only palette I use. The only other product really that I use in this video is the mascara. And of course, can't use that. So, um, But I will of course list everything in the description box down below. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so I have zoomed you guys in, and I'm going to go in with my first color right here, which is her color MFEO, and I'm going to use that as my first transition shade all over my eyelid. I'm going to go in with Sissy here and use that um, to I outline my crease on the outer and inner corner. So I'm just going to use that all over and dragging it all the way down. Next I'm going to go in with Crayon Apple, which is kind of a darker sparkly pink color, and I'm going to use that also in my crease, but I'm going to focus a little bit more on the outer side than the inner side. The next thing I'm going to do is simply just blend everything out, dragging it a little bit farther down where I've already covered a little bit of my eyelid and pulling it up to really create a lifted feel. Next I'm going to go in with Royalty here, which is the single purple shade that is just absolutely stunning and use that on the outer crease and outer corner only. But you guys can already guess what I'm going to do next, and that is blend it out. After I 
have blended everything out, I'm going to go in with Faint, which is this really light pink shimmery color, and use that on the inner corner of my eye and um, all over the top of my eyelid. to go in with a wet uh, brush and use her color here obsessed which I think was so aptly named and just layer over that last shade I used which was faint I'm going to do is go in with this color right here which is called soda pop and is kind of a dark purpley gray color and I'm just going to use that on the very outer corner very small amount and use it to line both my upper um, lash line and my lower lash line eyeshadow out just to really make it all seamless and especially focusing underneath so I don't want anything really harsh when I think of kind of fairies and fays and all of that I think of light and girly and all that nothing too dramatic or harsh so here you guys have it the final look up close of what I am calling my kind of fairy pixie makeup look still kind of figuring out which I like best but here is a close-up of the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments section. And let me know if there's anything else you want to see, any looks you want to try. Of course, I'm always open to feedback and I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe as well before you leave so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials, videos, hauls all of that good stuff good stuff I have planned but in the meantime I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day bye